mbuga ndine chudi singwena mudzi muna mwangu mbuga ndi malima ndi mawera ziweto zosiana stiana uli moso kamali ndi malima mbeu zosiana stiana ngari soya chimanga nteza kuli foja ndamendi mathakulima ndi nyemba mara mene ndi nawo pa mudzipano ndi ochokera ku magolo ndipo sina yiro kugula ai koma anga ine ni ori magolo anandi gaira kuti malawa ndi yako Judith is a typical Malawian rural woman who survives on subsistence farming. Luckily for her, she has land which she can call her own. Like many other women, especially in rural areas, her land was passed on to her by her parents, and she is likely going to do the same to her children. Many women, however, find themselves in different difficult situations, especially due to different cultural influences bordering on kinship. <laughs> azibambu ali kuchikamwini inde ngakhala azimaye ena kuti ali pa mudzipa kwao mambo anadzi achita chikamwini koma ndo simapeze kuti mphamvu za pa malopo amene amalamula kwambiri ndi kutenga pogawa pa chiri chosa makhala nzibambu ndi zimayi udzaso kuti azipanga zinthu moto akasuka kuti kuno ndi kwathu amalephera koma so azimaye amene ali kuchitengwa kuti apange chitukuko chokhazikika madzoti eh amuna anga kadzango mwalira adzandi thamangitsa ndi dzasiya chiri chonse ndi amalepheraso kupanga chiri chonse ndi malandira chiopsezo chimenejo chifuwa choti kubanja ako kuti ndipo anthu angapo ndi ndi malo amene tili nawo ndi wochepa ndi anzizanga ali ndiana ndi ndi machita mantha ndi kamakhala kuti azizangao chifuwa choti nawo swana wa kugula akhoza kundilanda kuti ino mulibe mwana kuli bwinwana wazili mapo pa malopo The situation can sometimes be so dire when a husband dies and the woman is left alone to fend for herself In a patrilineal patronage a woman leaves a village to settle in a man's village When a marriage ends either by death or divorce it is always the woman who is disadvantaged even if she had land in a village before she left for the husband's village Ine makola angala likwe kwa ndi ndi mwana mwana wao odawa yotsa ntho mwe ndi bana amene kuti zipeni nkwano ndi kumabwela kunoko ndi ali bwela kuno nthai mwe angasala zipesa mindo tatinga kwa ale makoli yao ndi 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 malo yeba ndi amene ndi makhanga ndi ndugulani ndi gwepo nchiri pa mwe popo Seeing the plight of women and children with regards to land rights many organizations including non governmental took up the issue with government to review the land act and take into consideration women issues ifetu nkhani imene iti nayi ambakale 2006 titaona kuti tikupondezedwa kwambiri pa nkhani ya zolima chifukwa ti matiti kalima tikagulitsa zose zimakhala za bambu ifetu tinalibe ula mulilo ndi tinayamba kukhala basi kuti ah ife mkuona mene tikupondezedwa tingapange chani kuti na feso tikhale ndi umwini ndi action aid anayamba kuti phunza za maufulu athu ndi mkati mwa maufulu muri ufulu wa malo ndepo zindikira kuti ifeyo alimi tiwena ukhandi malo kuti tilime ndi tinaima apo tinachilimika pamene popo thank you very much honorable the actions of the groups and other interventions culminated into the enactment of the customary land act of 2016 the 2016 customary land act repealed the customary land development and local land board act of 1967 which was a cake and then responsive to the needs of Malawians especially women and children but the work of those agitating for better treatment of women especially with regards to land rights did not just end with the enactment of the law ndi zitatero zinangokhala zi kuzimirira ndi tinaima so ah mwati vomereza kuti tikhaye ndi malo koma implementation si kuoneka chikuchitika ndi chani makamaka ndi tinamba so phokoso mpakana ah pamene zafika pano But enacting a law in itself is meaningless if the beneficiaries have no idea how the law will benefit them. This is why a number of organizations including Oxfam in Malawi and Landnet, working with the Coalition of Women Farmers and Rural Women Assembly Malawi chapter, took an initiative to raise awareness in Palombe, Kasungu and Mzimba districts through the project funded by Land Ark. With funding from Land Ark, the initiative built upon and scaled up successful practices and experiences by grassroots organizations and movements that work towards strengthening land rights for women 
we are taking advantage of the customary land act which government passed and oxfam and its partners landnet sepa we are very much involved in lobbying for the passing of these land bills including the customary land act because this one will allow women to have a tackling over their pieces of land and we think that uh, women are going to benefit a lot if they are able to actually articulate their needs and they are actually able to take advantage of the new law so that they are able to access land for their own security but also for their own economic opportunities that they can generate out of out of the pieces of land our role on this project is to build confidence in the women uh, because we know that under the new land law uh, there is it is expected that the women are going to participate in uh, uh, decision making processes especially now that uh, land administration is being decentralized to the local level, to the grassroots, especially up to the vid group village headman level. There are benefits that are expected to be accrued not only for the women, but men and children as well. Firstly, for the women, they will be able to have legal ownership to land that will encourage them to be involved in social and economic activities that will improve their livelihoods. The law will also further empower men in matrilineal systems to also be involved in economic activities since land will no longer belong to clans but families. Most of them you find that they register a high level of insecurity because even if they have married those women, they actually know that as much as I'm busy um, engaging in agriculture production or development activities on this piece of land, the uncle or the brother to my wife can actually chase me away. The new land law says no more clan land. It's a family land. So the new land law is doing away with clan ownership of land and is shifting to family ownership of land. Husband, wife and children, not the clan. So in that case, the man, if he registers together with the woman, has a motivation to invest even on long-term uh, crop production, say for example, macadamia. Currently, the organizations are working hard to sensitize people on the implementation of the law, especially on the establishment of the customary land committee at village levels. The customary land committee is the color as my adadu, as bamboo adadu, or seven as the color group village headman. The timafuna as my aga karekuti adengapo gaupo sank as my odalirika. Amene aka imilila azimai muko miti imo osati kukawo mbila mmanja azibambu. Kapena kuti azimai azika nko tipa kakala kupika. Ai azimai ya nko miti wazika pika. Ai koma azika pangana o ziganizo. Azika tinga po gao pa zoka mbila na zonse zime ziku chitika muko miti imo. Ndipo ifeyo udindo watu ndiko ne tseta kuti azimai amene so asa nkidu hao. Ti zafi gila aso ndiko wapu zita kuti kwa di ako za kugila bino nchilo buanji. Koma so kuina tukuni mbiki ta azimai wa kuti nkilo wa higa zaya mbiga azimai wa onse aga lembete maro. Amena li babanja aga lembete ngati banja. Amena li woka aga lembete so ngati woka ndia nao. Komano kuzi zakala kukambilana. Mbanja amo kutiko di tikali mbeti sengati banja. Tika ikaipu wana atu azi zabanga ziganizo. Koma tukufuna kwa mbili azmai azi zakali pa togoro kukajila na wakali mbila amenei. A very positive development is that many chiefs in the pilot project districts have shown keen interest to ensure that women land rights are upheld. Azi bambu waini na kutenga pumbali. Posa suza. Ndi kukala ndi haza. Paana ndi agazi ya masie. Akoza kutenga pondi tumbali, mwina po maa jitala za buino, maloya aja olo kumaga jitala registrari mozi. Osa kala yuwa ukazi bambu hai, kuma kuma renga maya aja, kuma so kuma renga olo wana, maloya aja kumaga lembetrari mozi. Ngadi fazima iti kawa kweze kwa mbili fayuri, tizi kandu mwini wa maru. Kuma so po ugula mwina maru, kapena po kaa pa kumo ngadi, pa kumo patu, tizi kawa oya mbili ya kutima muna kafuna kutu. Panga za maru, tia kumagulila limozi, kumaka mbilana, mbanja kutibambo. Tia ni kambilana ni katia pisa ni rama za tufa tika gule maru, tika gule maru, kubaya maru wa umwini, tizi kani maru wa umwini. Even though the work towards sensitizing communities on the impending land registration has been going on well, especially in the districts of Palombi and Kasungu, there is still some resistance, especially in patrilineo kinships, for example in Mzimba district. Shifu kwa chotu kumzimba, ifeo tika kwatiu, tima pita kwa ukwa bambo. 
ndi ya matitenga katika tu ndu tukwa kumene kuja. Tiribe umwini wa maro kumene kuja. Ai. Uka kanima mwono wako zima kabu no buino. Kwa mama wono haka ngomwa lila. Iweyo uka kana chokoro. Ndepa mwoneka no mavudu. But this is not a deterrent as both government and non-government organizations are working tirelessly to ensure that all Malawians understand that the Castro Milan law is for the benefit of both men and women and their children. We are doing it through training. We are also doing it through um, uh, project visits, uh, organizing drama, so that um, uh, people, including the men, when they watch the drama, they are able to understand uh, the challenges that women go through and uh, the disadvantages for not uh, involving women in land administration. It is expected that once the law is fully implemented, it will improve access to land by Malawians, especially women and children. Project in Mene, and it's a grand mass of one baby, Faja would take an open deal of Sangalala, put the Gagarin Betta Mama, Meneo, and the Kandum Winnie, Father in the Garden Betta Ananga, Ineo, Francisco Banjaranga, and get all the better, put in the Kale Patoglova, and the Malo Anga Anga, Nizata Guri, Marjana Gidio Sikimenza Quanite, Masan Zakari, Ana Jaza Kama, Meneba, the Moya was the Olay Nandirafa. Furthermore, it will ensure land security through creation of and registration of customary estates. In the long run, this will improve sustainable land use and improve the socioeconomic status of Malawians, especially women and children who have in the past been marginalized. <laughs>